In today's video, I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree fabric cube storage bins and I'm going to change it up to add to my craft room, just kind of customize it to fit what I want to do, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is the Dollar Tree one so dollar 25 which is a super amazing price a lot of times you can find just one of these for like four dollars or more in different stores so you're saving a pretty good amount of money uh, to get this so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do three of the four sides i'm not going to bother with this part or with the um, handle. I might come back and do these at a later date, but for now I'm just going to paint the three sides, the back and the, the two sides that fold in, and I'm not going to bother with the insert or the insides or anything like that. We're just painting the outside, and I'm going to do at least two coats of the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in White Adirondack as a primer base for this, and I'm going to mix up a custom green color to end up painting it. So now I've got it all painted white, as you can see there. I think that's, is that one layer or two? I can't really tell. I think it might just be one. Um, you can still see the color through, but um, just let that go and make sure it's nice and dried down before I paint the green. And here I've got my second coat. Now I'm mixing up my custom color with that white Adirondack again, and I'm using the antique green in the folk art home decor chalk paint line as well um, i'm using ch all all of it is chalk paint that i'm using uh, from the plaid products lines so i'm just mixing this up i want to get a, a nice color um, i think i added some of the waverly chalk paint moss uh, maybe a couple other colors of green i just threw a bunch of greens together to get the color i was looking for so after I've got my color pretty much the way I want it, I'm just going to brush it on. And I do, I think two coats, enough to make sure that no white shows through. And I won't make you sit through the entire painting of the process or painting process. I will jump to that when it's done. But yeah, it goes on real, real well. And um, using the chalk paint works out pretty good. Now here I'm in Cricut Design Space and this is where I am creating the labels that I'm going to put on these bins and I'm going to use heat transfer vinyl to do that. So I just typed out this one is vases, um, choosing my colors, all of them are going to be white and my font is moon time. And I found that if you stretch out that letter spacing when you weld it together, it doesn't like fill up the holes like in the A's or the O's or the D's or whatever. Um, it'll keep it empty like it's supposed to be. So now I'm just going to rearrange them on the mat so they'll cut a little better with a little less waste. Um, those of us who've been using Cricut know that design space is notorious usually for not putting it where it seems to make the most sense, but this one wasn't too bad. So I wanted to make sure that I hit the mirror option because I am using heat transfer vinyl. You want to make sure that you mirror your image. So when it cuts it out, it's backwards. So you can flip it over and it's the right way for you to press it onto your fabric or whatever your material is. So now as it's telling me to set the base material, I always have my dial on custom. So I'm using everyday iron on, making sure that mirror is turned on, of course. And as you can see over here, yes, mirror is on. And I just use a default pressure on that. Um, everything is good. Make sure that I get my mat loaded <laughs> right there. And now I can hit cut and it can just go ahead and cut. And it took a little bit of time, so I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. <laughs> so now that those are cut out and this is what they look like now that they're 
flipped over, so I'm going to use my HTV Ront heat press using the mm, kind of their settings. I think I did 325 on this. So just using the, the little bottom part, I'm shoving that in behind the front there. Um, as you can see, I've got everything painted. It's all dried. So I've got that in place about where I want it to go. So they'll all end up being in about the same alignment. And just going about 15 seconds at 325. I don't know about the pressure. It shows pounds. I don't know if that's a medium or if it's not. I have no idea. I don't know. I just press on it. <laughs> um, I am using HTV Ront uh, heat transfer vinyl as well. So I think it's a, it's a warm peel. So I went ahead, I peeled it off. And then as I always do, I go back over again because I like to make sure that my finish is matte. And I read somewhere that if you do that with your wax paper, it'll stay matte. And here's how they all look now finished. I have six of them. We've got Roy G. Biv right there. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. And you may have seen that Starbucks one in my previous video of my craft room tour. That was my first experiment. And then here's the finished Here's the finished set. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would, the, would you try something like this out for your fabric bins? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Take care, y'all. Bye.